All right, Papa Key, for people who matter, the show is so lit today. I have another special guest in the building. <laughs> Please introduce yourself, lovely lady. What's up? What's up? It's Danny Lay. How you doing? Oh, what's up? <laughs> and you yeah. look so amazing. Thank you. How you doing? It's a pleasure to have you. Yeah, thank you. S signed to Def Jam. Mm -hmm. Gosh. Yep. It's <laughs> like, you know, that's like... An artist's dream come true to be signed to such a, a legendary iconic. label, yeah. iconic label like that. I mean, how does that feel? And then also, how does it feel coming from here in South Florida? Oh, man, it's dope. It's, it's like I get to rip my city and I'm out here right now, too. Ooh, it's lit. lit. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right, give, us, give us a little background on it, you know, your humbling beginnings, where you come from, yeah. where your parents are from. Yeah, so my parents, they're both Dominican. <sighs> yes, they're originally um, raised in New York. And then, you know, they came out to Miami, had me. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing to do when you come to Miami. Right? They had little me. And then I moved to Orlando for like six years after that. And then now I've been in L.A. for seven years. So. That's what's up. Doing yeah. your thing. How Doing did the music find you? Man, music has always just been in my family. You know, I've always sang as a little girl. Um, I would say I really took it seriously. I was a little bit shy when it came to my singing. So gotcha. I would do like little YouTube covers all the time in my parents' restaurant in the back, right. like chilling. But so they I, got a Dominican restaurant. Yeah. They had actually a restaurant out here. It was La Pelota. It was, on, it was right in front of Hialeah High School. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. yep. now, did you go to school there? No, I didn't go to school there. I only, I only went they to school. They had money, so you went to private school. I get it. Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. It wasn't like that either. <laughs> no, nah, but they did move me out um, when I was 16 to L.A. just for my dreams. They dropped everything. Oh, that's dope. The that's dope. Dropped everything for me. Wow. Mm -hmm. Still riding with you? Yeah. That's love. That's it love. Is. That's love. You got a record out? Yes. Let's talk about that Let's real quick. Let's talk about it. All I Know. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so, tell, tell me the whole vibe about All I Know. Man, the vibe. You know, I got the... Ooh, Don't worry about, about it. We vibing. <laughs> no, I got you know that's that's it's a classic Aretha Franklin. It is. You know what I'm saying? Like that's yeah. brave, first of all. Of course, yeah. Not any and everybody. It is because it's mean? such a classic sample, and it's like, yo, you can't touch it if you ain't gonna kill it. You exactly. Know what I'm saying? I think I did it justice. Yeah, you know? yeah. The feedback, factory. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We were both in here singing. <laughs> yup. <laughs> <laughs> Who discovered you? Um, I always cut. I always like to uh, for people that when they come. To give maybe a credit to a person or who yeah. inspired them or who discovered them. Prince, when I was 18. Could you talk about that? Yeah. You know, I was, it was crazy. I was just heavily in the dance industry, doing music videos, dancing for artists here mm. and there. And I got an email one day and it was from him. <laughs> how, like, I know. How, like, what the hell, right? I know. I thought it was a joke or something, but then I ended up getting on the phone with him. And it was his deep voice and it was him. He wanted wow. me to write a treatment for his music video, Breakfast Can Wait. And, you know... That's, he gave me a whole budget for it and wow. he gave me like full creative control and was just like, do it, do your thing. And after that, you know, he, he stuck with me and became like my mentor with my music and helped me, gave me budgets for my own music videos, you know, put me on the Essence Festival, did press on me and everything like that. So, That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. That is amazing. <laughs> it is. Like, who gets opportunities like that? Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Wow. It's so, so crazy. how do you feel like now? You know, I was, I was, of course, so, so upset. You know, I was actually in Canada at the time. I was like, yo, is this, is this fake? You right, know what I'm right, saying? Because right, right. he was very healthy. He didn't, he didn't sleep at all. Like, he was right. like a vampire. But I was just like, what? Like, it was just weird. He didn't do drugs. He didn't drink. Like, that's, so it just threw me off. And I was always just like, you know, I really wanted him to be here at this point when I'm right, just like right, moving right. and going. But it's like, yo, I, I, and now look at me. I'm like, every interview I go to go to, I get to, you know, you talk to about him. him. Yeah. You get to live him. Yeah. So that's, a, that's great to that's me. That's a beautiful know? thing. And, I'm grateful. and honor him in that way. Mm -hmm. that, what, to, it's hard to say. And I know it's a difficult thing to ask you, but what do you think he saw in you? Um, I think he saw my authenticity. Like he was just. He loved, he loved, like, what I stood for and, like, who I was as a person. And he was just, like, I was very genuine. And I just, like, I just wanted to do music. And he saw that in me and was, like, okay, I want to help this girl out. You know? And he saw he saw the the talent, he told me. And, like, yeah. And that was it. Believed in me. How, how difficult is it to maneuver as a woman in this business? Um, You know, it's definitely difficult like girls we gotta we gotta gain a lot of respect just to be taken seriously because mm -hmm. you see a pretty girl you're like oh she's just cute you know what i'm saying she ain't mm -hmm. talented whatever so you gotta you gotta gain that first and yeah so because you know as you look at the 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 um the um 
the actors and the, you know Me Too and all these different things. Mm -hmm. You know, we know that this has been going on in the music industry. You know, it's but it's so, it's like a normal thing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and like the modeling in the, in the music industry. Yeah. But it, it, it you know, I, I use this opportunity to also shine a light on it. You know, people who can still break through. You know, being objectified mm -hmm. or people who are you know. People not taking you seriously. Definitely. You know? And I had to gain even more respect, too, because I was really big. I was a, like, booked dancer. Like, I was, like, people, artists would book me. They really loved me as a dancer. And, like, it was really for me to, like, pay the bills and, like, you know what I'm saying, right, keep right, it going. Right. And anything that I made off of, it, like, a little dance check, I would put it in my music. You know what I mean? I would go shoot a video over, like, 300 bucks or something. Like, right, get it done, right. you know? Reinvest. And, yeah, you know? And it's just like, I really had to just stop dancing to be taken serious Seriously. as an artist. Because you can't dance behind an artist if you're an artist. Like, it right. doesn't make sense. So that was a big, big, like, now I find I gain that respect. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Now, you're there with now it. they're not like Danny the Dancer. Like, yo, she's a real artist. And I write all my stuff, too. Like, so it's in me, you know? That's dope. Who has been some of your, besides Prince, who's been some of your influence? <clears throat> Maybe female influences? Yeah, um, I love Leah. Aaliyah was yeah. one of my biggest influences. Yeah, yeah I love She's her. Amazing. So cool, so I, beautiful. I, 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 if, if you remember the music business back then, I always used to credit Aaliyah as being such a titan. Because mm. if you remember, Aaliyah was out in the era of Monica mm -hmm. and Brandy. Yeah. And I remember Monica had a single. Brandy had a single. Mm -hmm. Monica and Brandy had a single together, mm -hmm. and Aaliyah was still killing it. Yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> she held you know, her own. Was, on her own, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And, like, she was just a, a phenomenon, and you always think, like, man, what could yeah. I have, you know, really, could she have been, like, on Beyonce's level right now? That I kind think of she would have been. I think so. Yeah. For sure, right? I think so, for sure. For That's sure. What's up. And then Rihanna, too. Rihanna, yeah. I love Rihanna. Yeah, yeah. She's what just, do you like most about Rihanna, though? I think she just, she's so smart with her moves, and I think, like, she's just a trendsetter. Like, everything she does is so dope, like. Mm -hmm. When would Rihanna ever be whack? Rihanna would right. never. She's too cool to be whack. Right, like right. she cut her hair. People go cut her hair because Rihanna did it. Like she could hop on an EDM track. She could hop on a trap trap. She could hop on a Spanish track. Like she could kill anything, and that's what I admire about her. That's yeah. dope. Multifaceted. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I and I take that into my artistry too. Like I don't like to get stuck in a box with my music. Right. I like to do all type of records too. So how how soon do you think before we get a complete you know album body of work debut yes. album yes. August. Really? August, yeah. So we have a date set. Mm -hmm. So what can we look forward to? We already know the, the you know the jump out song, but what can we look forward to? Are there going to be features? Are there gonna um, be yeah, like... I'm gonna get some features on there for sure. Not too crazy. I don't need crazy features, but you know, people that I admire and like want to help. You know what I mean? Things that make sense. Yeah, it gotta make <laughs> sense. You know, so I'm excited for it. It's probably gonna have like 12, 14 records. I already got some in the chamber that are just like. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I can't wait to drop, you know? And it's just going to be my story. You know, you'll get a mixture of my, my 90s R&B vibe and right. then you get my little hip-hop trap vibes, you know? And I'm also Dominican, so, you know, I'm going to have a so little Latin little stuff that? in there, too, right. yo. That's so it's going to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Well, I'm excited for you. Thank you. You know what I mean? And I know the journey has been pretty long and rough and stuff like that. Yeah. But, you know, now is your it's time all to worth it. Of, yeah. Yeah, shine and show mm -hmm. everybody what you're made of. Yeah. You know what I mean? The fruits of your labor. Yeah, stuff for like sure. That. Do people mess up your name, Danny Lay? All the time. Danny Lee. I'm like, guys, come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> they even spell it. They even spell it like Danny Lay, like separate. I'm like, it's one thing. Come yes. on. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It'll That's be known in like a little bit. In a little bit. <laughs> what do you mean a little bit? Right now. Right now. Right now. We're getting right. 500 plus followers right now. Mm. Give everybody Instagram because we are uh, on Instagram live right yeah. now. Both of us and we're sharing it, right? Yes. So give out your Instagram live. Yeah, I can follow me everywhere. I, I am Danny Lay. D-A-N-I-L-E-I-G-H.